Hi everyone, welcome back to Japan where it's time for me to give you my review of the long awaited, I'm so excited about this, the new Puffy Song Pathfinder. It came out not so long ago, taking a little bit of time to prepare this review for you guys because there's been a lot going on recently and because I wanted to get it right. Now anyone who knows me knows that I am a big supporter of this band. Um, where's the poster? You can see P P Puffy are there. I've been into this band for a very long time. Uh, they're a sort of modest but very valuable part of the music scene in this country and I'm going to go a little bit into why that is before I give my review but I'm excited for it. I'm sure you're excited for it as well. I certainly hope you were. I got in there, unpacked all that there was to unpack. There was a lot to unpack. Wrote down my little review notes, got it ready and here's what I thought. If you know me, you'll probably know I'm certainly one of a small group of people who are vocal about how unfortunately lacking J-pop history's memory is of Puffy. However, talking to anyone in Japan who knows their J-pop at all reveals an admiration of the rock pop duet who were once the country's official cultural ambassadors and offered a huge note in Asian music's breaking into Western radio play. Virtually anyone in Japan who you speak to between 25 and 35 years of age grew up with Puffy at least on the radio and the popularity of the band would suggest most of these people weren't exactly hating them. And these are also people representing an age group that the majority of the bands we cover here fall into. However, the majority of Puffy's output and thus success was limited to approximately a decade before quieting down, just as bands like Scandal and the following Girls Rock Revolution really started to kick off, and that meant that they didn't really enjoy the spoils of a scene they had done so much to prepare radio and the public for. Combined also with their huge media presence on TV during the height of their fame, it kind of made them feel like a fad that was being replaced by the burgeoning era, rather than the natural progenitors of it. As Puffy celebrate 25 years of existence this year, and one of the most heartwarming musical friendships in J-pop history, Pathfinder is both a welcome release, but also a reminder that it's been a decade since their last album, and almost as long since their last notable single, Puffy Pipoyama. I remember being at one of their Tokyo gigs promoting off the back of uh, Puffy Pipiyama's release and it was clear at the time that they were just having fun and playing to their core fans rather than trying to be chart toppers or anything like that anymore. The song itself was twee, very fun and totally free in its exploration of silly themes, both musical and also image wise. Pathfinder again follows this route of sounding more like a fun little project for which Puffy just want to do what they enjoy with the fans who've stood by them through years of changing trends and relative inactivity on their part. It does take a less nutty approach than Pipoyama, however. Here we get a song that is awash with nostalgia and wistfulness in its tone, whilst also bopping along with an incredible Puffy-esque pop rock energy and a really simple killer chorus hook. Now, I add a metaphor for every review of a song I do nowadays, mostly for comical effect, but also to try and condense my thoughts. However, I must say that the music video did a wonderful job here for me. Skipping through fields while wearing silly clothes, then occasionally sitting by a river and thinking whilst an old camera films you, Pathfinder seems to know it's a song out of its time, but it's happy being there. What may sound like a simple pop rock song out of context is also a mature reflection on simple pleasures and honest joys when listened to in context. Carried off by a beautifully performed rock and roll backing that shows moments of delicacy in the verses and especially bridge, along with a youthful but heartfelt vocal delivery from the ever duetting Ami and Yumi, Pathfinder is an extremely well made, catchy and oddly deep take on the rock and roll sound we are all too familiar with. It may have been a modest target from the outset to do a song like this, but Puffy gleefully overachieve here while, like I say, also playing to their core fan base as well as a sound that they clearly love. So whether you're an existing fan who just wants that honest girls pop rock feeling back, a lover of catchy melodies, or just in need of something light to play that will lift you up, Pathfinder is a great little song. And it's really catchy. So what is the metaphor after all of that for today? Well, Pathfinder is a nice freshly purchased and well-fitting pair of jeans and t-shirt. People might not think you're up with the current fashion and yeah, maybe you could have done something more bold, but you'll be comfy as hell and looking good.
Yeah, so what a great song. I really like that. Again, it's one of those ones where I know they're, they're not pushing any boundaries. That they're, they're beyond wanting to do that now. They're just enjoying what they love doing. And I, I kind of like that. I think it probably comes across more for long-term fans of the group or people who've watched as they've progressed. But you can really kind of hear how this just so naturally just feels just like them being them. It feels very quintessential to their sound. And yet at the same time, it is a new catchy little melody. It's a new song that they've brought us, which does feel like it's, yeah, it's something fresh. It doesn't feel just like a retread. It just feels very honest to who they are. So I really enjoyed this, but as always, I'm looking forward to seeing the opinions, especially with a group like this. It's going to be really interesting to see so many different opinions. There's going to be plenty of people who maybe have heard of them, but don't know much about them. Maybe people who are fans will be here. Maybe you've never heard any Puffy before and you're like, why are these guys considered so special? I want to know what you think. Agree or disagree? That's what makes music interesting. And I think Puffy, especially one of those groups who I could have a really good conversation with you guys about. So get in the comments and I'll try to respond to as many as I can. I always read all the comments, even if I don't get a chance to respond to them all. So please do get in there and tell me what you think. As always, liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated as well. A big thank you to anyone who follows any of the social medias. A link in the description below. I try to keep them all up to date. It's basically me running most of it. So um, it can be a little bit slow on some of them, but the Discord is super active and there's a big community of people with many different opinions on there all ready to disagree with me about everything I say. So feel free to join them. A big thank you to anyone on our Patreon because you guys do keep the channel alive. You can see no adverts. Not doing any of that. I don't stick adverts in your face. So a big thank you for the Patreon people for meaning that I can do this. And massively, massively, massively thank you to yourself for making it through to the end of this video. So until I hopefully see you in Japan very soon for the next one of these. For now, ciao, ciao.